Hello everyone, this is Cassie here, and I have some sad news for you today. Mm, my sweet boy. So, uh, you may have seen my video where I talk about what happened to Alfie. I was at a birthday party and Alfie got fed with chocolate by a person there. And he needed intensive care for two days straight since he was poisoned. His kidneys... <laughs> here we go. His kidneys took a great deal of damage during that time. And I have never been so worried in my life before. So I made a video and I talked about what happened and how I felt and all that. And Alfie recovered eventually. He came back to being the same happy little guy he always has been. And then a few days ago I noticed he didn't want his usual treats. I normally give Alfie and Viggo their uh, chewy stick uh, with uh, chicken wrapped on it. And Alfie just sniffed at it and just walked away. I was like, that is weird. And uh, shortly after, he didn't really want to eat anymore. And I could tell he was, uh, he was just feeling low. He was not the same energetic, uh, happy little fella. And when I took the dogs out for walks, uh, I could tell that Alfie was not uh, catching up. He was walking really slowly and he was like hunched a little bit and I started thinking, no, this can't be true. So, uh, here we go, you're so sweet. So of course I contacted the vets and they said, uh, this sounds serious, we need to book an appointment tomorrow as soon as possible because they were closing uh, when I contacted them. So Alfie was going to the vet the day after. Alfie has started to gain some kind of bad smell in his mouth. You know, dogs are not known for having uh, minty fresh breath, uh, especially when they're 10 years old like Alfie. But Alfie had this special kind of uh, bad breath that I've never felt in a dog before. And uh, that is a sign of kidney failure. And I could also tell uh, I was watching TV, eating pizza, and I normally give the dogs a piece of ham from the pizza. Preferably with a little bit of cheese on it also. Just a tiny bit and they get so happy and Vigo eat it like uh, normal. <laughs> yes, you do. And when I gave it to Alfie, he just looked at it and just turned his head away and I was like, Wow, something is wrong with Alfie. And I just couldn't sleep during that night. I was awake all night. I was crying. I was fearing the worst. Uh, yeah, it was awful. I couldn't stop thinking about what if there's no hope for Alfie. And uh, yeah, the day after, the vets, they took some tests on Alfie and uh, yeah. It had multiple inflammations in his body and his kidneys were shutting down. So it's like all the toxins the kidneys are about to uh, clear out from the body. They go like straight to the blood instead. So that terrible, the terrible breath that he got, that was from like the toxins not being taken care of by the kidneys. So the vet said, either Alfie, go oh, come. Alfie gets intensive care at a big pet hospital again and that can work but it will only postpone his kidney failure because they will never be good again once they have reached this stage. Once the kidneys start to fail there is not a good prognosis for that so they recommended just saying goodbye. So I realized I didn't want to put this poor body through more pain than it was in. And the next day was his, his last appointment. 
and uh, yeah, I couldn't sleep that night either. I had Alfie with me in the couch and I was watching videos on YouTube with uh, owners in the same situation as me, taking her dog to the vet for the last time, saying goodbye. And I found a video with a veterinarian talking about how you know when it's time to say goodbye and when you like can check in on a calendar like today has been a good day or, or today has been a bad day for my dog and when you see now it has been mostly bad days my dog is not feeling well anymore maybe it's kinder to let him not be in pain anymore <laughs> so that gave me some comfort at least I could tell on Alfie. He was not feeling well at all. When he got this intensive care the first time after his poisoning, it was like I had been given a few bonus weeks with him. And I am so grateful for that. So I was sitting there with Alfie and he was looking at me and I told him how much I love him and it is one of the hardest things I have ever had to realize. You know how sudden it all came. I've always felt like I've been overprotective over my dogs. And uh, lately I've been feeling what's the worst thing that can happen. Yeah, he was walking around on that party and uh, sitting in people's laps because that's what he loves. He loves being a pet and loved and uh, getting attention for everyone. And uh, how could I know that a grown-up would feed him chocolate? It's like the number one rule, everyone knows that. And I keep blaming myself for not keeping my eyes on Alfie, or he would have still been here. And I feel so bad about it. I mean, anything can happen, but I just, I just feel like it wasn't his time to get sick right now. He had so much more in life to give and it's just such a sad outcome of this whole story. And I was with him at the veterinarian. He fell asleep in my arms. It took quite a long time before he actually left me because his circulation was so bad at this point. And just arriving there with a with a basket with Alfie in it and leaving without him. <laughs> God, I, I miss him so much. And I couldn't do anything else but just cry for the next day and night. And it feels like life is now with Alfie and after Alfie. Now I have to get used to Taking out Viggo only and not taking out the boys and uh, not taking out food for two dogs, only one. So I thought this video could be a little bit of uh, celebrating Alfie and uh, what he has meant to me over the years. Alfie came to me when he was a puppy. He was about five months old. He was the smallest little puppy I had ever seen. I had had Vigo for about eight months, I think, when I got Alfie. Actually, I went to this uh, website, Blocket, <laughs> where you can find uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, animals and uh, cars, yeah, anything. And uh, I was just gonna like, uh, when Vigo is like one year old, I'm gonna I want to get another dog as company for Vigo and for me, of course. So I was, uh, I, I went to block it just to look like, what am I looking for? What kind of dog? What size? What breed? You know? And uh, of course I found this one ad. It was just, there's something about it. I was so pulled to this ad. It was <laughs> this teeny tiny chihuahua sitting on a table next to a milk cardboard and it was like half the size and uh, 
he had this little dark face and is looking into the camera. I don't think I have that picture saved anywhere, sadly, but I thought to myself, no, I cannot get another dog. I don't even have a solid place to live right now. And I was working a lot and uh, yeah, but uh, I, I slept and the first thing when I woke up in the morning, like, I was thinking about this little puppy and... Uh, yeah, I ended up contacting the seller and uh, next thing you know, I was there saying hello to Alfie for the first time. Uh, he was so small, he was adorable. And this family he grew up with, uh, they also had cats. So this tiny chihuahua, he was sleeping in a little basket along with like th three small kittens. <laughs> the owner, when she took Alfie from the cat and... <laughs> He woke up like, oh, and he, she put him in my lap so that we could say hello, <laughs> of course. And I was like, no, don't wake him. <laughs> and he woke up like, oh. And the first thing he did was just go straight down to the couch and down on the floor and back to the kittens. <laughs> and I was like, I feel you. <laughs> I ended up buying Alfie. His name was Alvin by then. And of, of course, I, I was so in love with that little dog and uh, yeah i bought him and a few days later i came to pick him up and he had a cat collar because they couldn't find any dog collars that small for his size and this teeny tiny leash and it was winter outside and he was just walking with the tiniest feet and i was thinking what have i done so I went home and he and Viggo said hello. Viggo was crazy. He is a very energetic dog and uh, yeah, they set the mood pretty pretty straightforward. <laughs> but Alfie has always been good at like saying stop, don't get too close to me. He has never been mean, but he can tell other dogs like this is my limit. So yeah, I ended up raising two little dogs when I didn't have... <laughs> A solid place to live. I was working a lot but of course I had the dogs with me in the truck and it really felt like it's me and them against the world. I was working days and nights driving my truck and uh, I really felt like I don't need anything else right now. I am feeling... I was kind of depressed and but I still felt I am needed by these two little dogs. They need me to take care of them. And that felt so precious, and it has always felt precious to be so needed. Uh, it's like no matter what crazy ideas I've had, all the places I have moved to, all the people I've met through these 10 years together, my dogs have always been with me, and uh, I am so grateful that I firstly I got the trust to take care of Alfie, and uh, you know, everyone says that their pet is the most special, and everyone is right about that. But Alfie was definitely something extra. I can't tell how many people have said, I hate chihuahuas, but Alfie, I can, I like him. <laughs> or all the times people say, oh, I'm gonna take Alfie home, you don't mind, do you? And I'm like, yeah, I do mind. <laughs> It has happened so many times. Everyone has fallen in love with Alfie. I haven't shown him much in my videos or Instagram because he, is, he was a bit camera shy, if a dog can be that. He rather hangs out in real life, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, Alfie is gone now and now I have to live with that fact. And it feels so sad, but, but I am so grateful to have been a big part of Alfie's life. And he has been a part of a, a third of my life. It's crazy. And it hurts so much. I have, uh, I have barely talked to anyone uh, and just been sad and it will never stop hurting. But that's how it is. And I wanted to share this with you guys as a tribute to Alfie, the greatest little puppy. And uh, take care of yourselves and uh, hug your pets a little extra. No, no, no. I thought that I could keep from going insane. But no. I'm
Ah, 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 ah,